Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie, and today I'll be doing a makeup look. And um, it's also a first impression review. This is the NARS Basic Instincts Cheek Quad in the color story number two. And I'll be giving you guys a first impression. I'll be giving you guys swatches today. Hope you guys like this video. If you guys are interested in learning how I created this look and listening in on my thoughts of the NARS Cheek Quad palette, please keep on watching. Okay, so I've already moisturized using my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer. I have oily skin. I'm going to use my most beloved uh, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, true. And then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and just kind of buff this out and into my skin. Going in with my Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation in the shade 30CG. I'm just going to shake it up a bit and I'm going to pump it directly onto my face. Um, and I don't use too much. I just pump a little bit on my forehead and my cheeks. This is just to ensure a not too cakey um, look. The Beauty Blender, especially with the water, it definitely helps with making your foundation and your face look very much real and not to makeup-y. Going off of the chart on the Sephora like website or you know going to the store because we weren't allowed to swatch our shades I had to just guesstimate and I think I did a pretty good job I mean like I said I wouldn't return this because I know that products don't get reused obviously even more so now because of the pandemic but um, yeah, I just decided to keep it and work with it. I think it's not too bad of a shade for me anyway. Um, then I'm just going to kind of like let this, um, the parts under the eye sit. And everywhere else I will buff it in. So I will buff in the one that I put at the nose area. Just make sure that they're blended in. I'll buff in the forehead and the bridge of the nose okay and then I'll leave this on for a little bit just slightly ever so slightly I'm gonna go in with my another Fenty Beauty product I'm gonna go in with the these are called the matchsticks and I'm gonna go in with the color mocha this is to contour um, and I usually put some on the cheeks here, like on the hollows of my cheeks first and under my bottom lip then I do for the nose which is very crucial, it's important um, I do under the nose I do the sides of the nostrils um, and then I will just do like the two lines that go down make sure that they're nice and symmetrical um, I don't really do the one in the middle because I'll go in with the powder and do that then I do two little lines on the forehead probably extend that there and I'm gonna start buffing this in but instead of my beauty blender I'm gonna go in with my really old real techniques and everything's like literally like rubbed off so it's a really old real techniques brush and it looks like this oh my god I get the I get the burp hiccups does anybody else get burp hiccups because people at work are always like bless you and I'm like 
it's a burp. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to buff this in with this um, brush, and I just sprayed a little bit of my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I'm going to start off with the forehead, and I'm going to follow the shape that I drew in. So I'm not just going to, like, mindlessly, um, you know, go everywhere. I'm just going to kind of buff it in in the places that I've placed my contour. Then I'm going to go in the chin or the lower lip area and just blend that out and then whatever's left over I'm going to use that to buff into under my jawline and under my chin. Next I'm going to go into the cheek contour. Next I'm going to go in and um, buff out my nose contour and I use this specifically for my nose. So anything that has like a duo fiber look like this, which is the white and the black, um, is very good for blending out cream products and it's gonna make sure that that product does not, you know, get lifted off, it just stays on your skin and it blends it out very beautifully. So I'm just gonna follow the lines that I drew, go up into my eyebrows and just blend whatever is left on this brush. thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually buff out this concealer. It's been sitting in here for a while, so close to me, so that's what I'm looking at. So now we're going to set the under eye with the Fenty Beauty Banana Pro Filter Powder and I um, was in need of a replacement powder for my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I thought, you know, let's try the you know Fenty Beauty Banana Powder because it looks like it's not dark enough and you know for my light skin ass and I like it. I really do. The bridge of my nose, just to set that as well. Oh, too much. And whatever's left over, I'm just going to use to set the rest of my face. <sighs> Go in with my butter bronzer, my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, I'm actually going to set my contour area, and yes, I'm holding a paint brush. This is actually a watercolor brush that I bought when I was in college taking painting class and watercolor class. It's, you know, not what you would expect from a makeup tutorial, but I said, look, this was my reasoning behind this. I wanted the Patrick Ta contour brush um, so that I could use my, use it for my you know, bronzing powder, but a girl is broke, so um, I just said, you know, I looked over and I saw this brush sitting at my art desk, and I was like, this looks exactly like the shape that Patrick Tellis brush is, so I just picked this up and I tried it, and I was like pleasantly surprised, because it's soft as heck, it is soft, and it doesn't hurt, it feels great, it's fluffy, it's tapered, so like there's a point here and everything else is just tapering down and it's really good for like getting into the hollows of your cheek so if you guys want to purchase a cheaper alternative to the Patrick, Patrick Ta um, brush I would suggest the Simply Simmons 3 quarters oval wash um, I will link it down below so what I do is I just you know go in a little goes a long way with this because it is very pigmented. And I'm just going to start buffing it into the contours of my cheek. So to um, set the nose area, with, I'm going to use the same powder. And I'm going to use this little Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M139. And I on sale. And I love it. It's normally for your eyeshadow but your girl uses it multi-purpose you know um, 
I don't tend to wear eyeshadow as of late, speaking of eyeshadow. I just go and use the contour... The contour? I just use the powders that I use on my face, onto my eyes. I'm gonna use some of that bronzing powder and I'm gonna pop it right into my eyes just to give it a little bit more of a cohesive look with the entirety of the face. I notice if I don't do this, my eyelid looks like stark white compared to the rest of my face. We're going to remove the baked parts of our face. I'm just going to use this um, e.l.f. brush. It's a tapered brush and it fits under my eye, so I'm just going to use that and brush the rest of the powder off. So I go back and forth between these two lip products. This is the Buxom um, Powerful Plump Lip Balm. And I never hear anybody talk about this, but I just want to say it's like super good. I'm already like wearing this down. Um, it's a clear looking balm, but when you put it on, it changes to your pH levels. So this is one of those pH changing lip balms. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. I just go in with a little bit of brow product. Whatever's on this brow brush. And I use the lid. And I just... So now that my brush is saturated with the product, I'm going to go in to my next brow and again start using the brush on its side and utilize that edge to your advantage. Make that line towards the end of your eyebrow tail and then bring it down. Then switch your technique and just use the edge of that brush and create a line for under the brow. As you get closer into the middle of the brow, you start using bouncing methods. Bouncing method to put less and less product into the brow. On the lower part of your inner brow, you're going to just go back to your edge and press it so that it is well defined and then bring up to the inner front of your brow. Now I'm going to go in with a wing. And I'm using my Stila Stay All Day Dual Ended Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I use the little side. That's how little that side is. And this one is bigger. So, I use the little side. Sorry, I just had to hold my breath there. I fucked up. Okay, great. Um, yeah, my method of eyeliner is like so different compared to other people's like So what I do is I start lining my lid completely. With a line that starts pretty thin on the inner corner and gradually gets bigger as it goes out. And once I'm done, I actually start using 
um, the pointy part of the brush and create that winged look. Let me zoom you in closer. Okay, so there's that line. I'm going to do the other one off camera. Okay, I am back. So there's that other side. I'm just going to place these lashes down. Um, okay, so there's that side. Let's put on the other one. While I do this, what movies have you guys been enjoying lately? Please, please recommend me some movies. Recommendations for you guys, however, if you guys are looking for horror movies, because I'm queen of the horror, okay? I love horror movies. I recommend Midsummer, and if you haven't watched it, I recommend Hereditary. Hereditary as well is great so they're from the same producer so he's twisted okay he is fucked up in the brain but i love that okay i just love horror movies so i recommend those i also recommend i hate sharks by the way so a little insight i hate sharks i recommend you guys watch 47 meters down it's kind of cheesy but it's fucking great okay and um i recommend adrift adrift is really good there's no sharks in it thankfully but it's just an emotional movie and it's based on true freaking events so i recommend those four movies for the time being now we're gonna dip into blush i freaking love blush She's already fucked up because there was like powder on her from me like setting my face earlier. But look at this. NARS, your, you know, usual velvety cover. There's the names on the back. This is called the Basic Instincts 2 Cheek Quad. Opening this girl up, she looks phenomenal. I mean, look at this. Look at the colors. We've got... One second. Let me look at the shades here. We've got Torrid at the bottom, which is the pink one. We've got Exhibit A. We've got Savage, and we've got Taj Mahal. So, let me swatch these girls for you. We have Torrid. Okay? Torrid. Pink. She pink. That's the second swatch. Okay? I'm shit at swatches, by the way. We have Exhibit A, the reddish brown, um, orangey one. Okay, first swatch. Second swatch. Okay, they pigmented. They pigmented, girl. We've got Savage, which is that mauvey, um, bronzy looking one. Okay, she got some glimmer. And we've got Taj Mahal which is that orangey um, one. So, she glimmery too. That's all I'm saying. These are really pretty colors. I like them. Um, I didn't want to get the other color story, the you know quad number one, because that one looks too rosy, too pink, too mauve. That ain't me, girl. That ain't me. So today, I kind of want to use I don't know what do you guys think I mean savage today because I feel like savage so I literally dipped in with this oof with this bur can I be a youtuber thanks I dipped in with the morphe m15 this is a blush brush 
and I have about this much of product, not too much. And I'm just going to stamp it. I kind of go just everywhere, really. Look at that. Comparison. Before, after. She rosy. Recommend this. I recommend it. I literally picked, I went to Ulta. A little backstory here. I went to Ulta. I had seen the sneak peek of the NARS Quad palette on I Love Sarai's Instagram story. And I was like, I need that right now. So then I was like, let me look it up at the NARS website. I didn't find it. I looked it up on Sephora. Didn't find it either. Then come to find out that I got the Ulta booklet in the mail and it said exclusively in Ulta only. And I said, oh, that's why. So your girl looked on Ulta, found it, and then it said available on in stores August 3rd. I think that you should also get it because it's good and it's limited edition. Obviously, all of their collections are limited edition. And I was in the market for a blush anyway. And what better way than to just get a blush, you know, palette. We're going to finish our look up with the Nude Sticks 24K Goddess Liquid Highlighter. Look at that. She glowing. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and or subscribe. If you guys have any questions regarding the products, if I miss adding anything on the description box, please don't hesitate to ask me. Hope you guys like this video and there will be many more to come.